In Unit 2, we talked about um, pollution, and one of the uh, pollutants was tropospheric ozone. Okay, so that's this, this graph right here. Um, in Unit 3, we talked about the hole in the ozone layer, and so we talked about ozone in the stratosphere. That's this right here. And now this um, unit, we've been talking about um, global warming and the greenhouse gases, gases that contribute to, um, that absorb infrared radiation and serve to warm the atmosphere. All right? So we've talked about three different um, occurrences, basically, in the atmosphere. And, um, and I want to make sure that we don't get them all jumbled up and confused. Okay, so a lot of times people get, um, first of all, stratospheric and tropospheric ozone um, issues confused. Then they get the whole ozone business confused with global warming. So I want to, um, to first of all, to, to remind you that we talked, and we talked about this before, that the tropospheric ozone is due to pollution, mostly car pollution. Um, it's from the nitrogen dioxide um, breaking down in the presence of light. Uh, and producing um, free radical oxygen that then combines with the oxygen in the troposphere to form ozone. It's called ground level ozone and the problem with that is that ozone um, is a pollutant that can cause respiratory problems and also it, it's, it's a very reactive chemical itself that can break down <clears throat> plant material and <clears throat> plastics and whatnot. All right. Then the next unit we looked at the, the the problem of the ozone hole. Now, let me back up for a minute. When we talk about an ozone action day, we're talking about a day that's probably going to be sunny and, and not a lot of airflow and a lot of cars on the road and a chance for the tropospheric ozone concentration to come up. And remember that it comes up and then it goes back down overnight because the ozone reacts away so fast, okay? So ozone contributes a little bit to the, um, the tropospheric ozone has a very small um, you know, factor um, contributing to global warming. Um, more, more ozone will, will, you know, it does. It is an IR absorber. It will absorb infrared radiation, but it's it's a pretty small factor. Um, and then the 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 decrease of ozone in the stratosphere actually that that having less ozone in the stratosphere actually has a cooling effect because there's not ozone there to absorb the infrared radiation. So. Um, the hole in the ozone layer has nothing to do with warming up the earth. Actually, it would serve to cool the earth. So that's why this is going in a cooling direction. The stratospheric ozone, a decrease in the stratospheric ozone would cause a cooling effect because there would be less ozone to absorb the infrared radiation. Okay, the hole in the ozone layer is all about allowing the ultraviolet light to come in. And ultraviolet light doesn't heat up the surface of the earth. It's the visible and the infrared. It's the absorption of the visible light by the, by the earth and the absorption of the infrared by the Earth that is then re-radiated to the atmosphere and trapped by the atmosphere. Okay, so it's from the, the Earth out, really, and, it, the, and the, the Earth is warming because the visible light and infrared light are getting to the Earth. Alrighty? So that's, that's a completely different factor than all of these other gases which do contribute to um, global warming. The biggest contributor is carbon dioxide followed by methane, nitrous oxide, and then the halogen-containing gases. And remember, the halogen-containing gases, those are the CFCs. Um, those are the gases that were put into the atmosphere by um, aerosol cans and refrigerants. And they do um, affect the stratospheric ozone because they break down the ozone when, when they themselves break down and you have the chlorine free radicals. But they also... Um, you know, absorb infrared radiation. So they have more of a warming effect um, on, the, on the atmosphere because they absorb infrared radiation, okay? We're doing something about this. We're limiting um, the halogen-containing gases that are produced anymore, and so this is un in the works. It's just going to take a while for them to fully be removed from the atmosphere, okay? And the carbon dioxide is the biggest contributor, and that's what we've been talking about all the time. So I just wanted you to, to, to get it straight. There's three different um, things going on, somewhat related, but, but the hole in the ozone does not warm up the earth. It just allows more carbon dioxide, or excuse me, ultraviolet light to get through.